Earth Grown. We're just getting all the artifact elements. <laughs> oh, I have to fall into a hole there, and then I can move that lever. How do I even go back here? Oh, there's a... I didn't see this. Right, so I gotta time this right. We gotta... Probably this hole. I would think. Hey, gamer. That was a door. That's crazy, man. That's wild. Actually insane. Ba, ba, bum. So now I need to find a way to get to that door. I think it's as simple as... Ooh, there's a chest here? How did I miss this? Water drip? Worthless? Maybe it's not worthless. It sounds worthless to me. Zephyr Claw? Oh, that was the chest I saw at the beginning. Hello. Oh, we're done already? That was quick. You're, you mean to tell me this was one of those trials for a guardian? That was a that was kind of a lame. Like it wasn't even really a puzzle. I'm Rigdo Bright. I've come very far. I'm the guardian of stars. What moves are you gonna give me here? Got the Rigdo Bright, uh, guardian. Whenever you need me, call. I'll come flying, but don't eat me. <laughs> what skills is that gonna give Tim? Cosmic Ray, Valkyrie, yo. Non-elemental attacks, absolutely. 10 kills for Valkyrie, 20 for Cosmic Ray. I'm gonna work on getting that with uh, Tim. Pretty great. Then we can just jump down here and get on out of here. <laughs> Alright, that, kind of that was kind of a lame one. If that was like one of the Guardian Trials, which it was, because I didn't know we were getting a Guardian there. Let's see here. Crimson Castle is the next place I want to go to. That unlocks the optional character. So south of Gilgalad is the castle made of... Okay. So south of Gilgalad, as simple as that. Should be very visible. Yeah, I already see two green dots. Come to me, Lombardia. It here maybe doesn't look like it probably here but, 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 there are two green I bet one's a ray point check what the pyramid is if you want to know I can tell you what pyramid pyramid That, that triangle thing? Yeah, you could tell me. I'll probably end up doing it eventually, yeah. I'll end up doing it eventually. It might be a YouTube-only thing, depending on what it is, but you can tell me what it is. Because I'm probably gonna end up doing it when I finish the playthrough and do all the side quests. My chest. Or respite. Or respite. Oh, books! Hit the books, Tim. This book is written in a strange language, undecipherable. Yo, ancient tongue. We need grimoire up in here. This book is written in a strange language, undecipherable. Are these undecipherable as well? They are. It's optional bosses you can challenge if you use my mic. It sounds like super bosses, basically optional bosses because wild arms one had optional bosses optional bosses are most definitely going to be youtube only <laughs> because i like to do my research and plan builds and stuff when i do that i did it for wild arms one so while the uh, optional bosses in all the wild arms playthroughs are most definitely going to be youtube exclusive but i don't need to worry about it right now 
Oh, okay. Interesting. But yeah, we are eventually these playthroughs are gonna be complete. They're gonna have all the side quests done on like the YouTube playlist. Because I, I definitely feel like Wild Arms is such a as a series, these games are not really super well known. So I owe it, and also they're, they're they're fun so far. So I definitely am enjoying doing all the content. So I owe it to myself to do basically everything. In them. Punch you, and then Tim, we gotta work on getting kills with you to get your get your non-elemental skills. But yeah, I want to do all the content, for sure. But at the same time, I want to, like, get to the other Wild Arms games sooner. So, you know what? I thought to myself, best to Bolt Worlds. I'll do all the content, but I will... Take small breaks and do the other optional content at my own pace and own leisure. So that is sort of the... The compromise. And I'm still providing lots of Wild Arms content because I'm streaming the main stories back to back essentially it's the best way to tackle the series because i've been very interested in the series for at least like four years wild arms one was on my backlog this book is written all undecipherable what a shock ba -ba -ba -bum. by the way this castle is very confusing i'm kind of fine with roaming for them oh hello what did that just do? Oh, it lowered that, so now we can go to the center. I think all of them are lowered now. Oh, but now I'm trapped here, Rip. <laughs> Alright, that's the lever I got. So I gotta go, like, all the way around, because I ideally want to go to the center. But I trap myself if I go there, so I gotta go, like, all the way back around here. Did I go up here yet? I don't think I did. Okay, this is another pathway. Yeah, this room looks familiar. Oh, an amazing stone. I almost called it a memory stone. Which wouldn't be completely wrong, but it's called an amazing stone, but memory stone because of memory card. Honestly, I want the game to keep giving me- Oh, not this pointless game mechanic. I want the game to keep giving me skip unskippable encounters because I'm abusing the encounter skip too much. It's just a terrible habit where I just keep pressing O if it's not a new enemy. But in my defense, the game is like really easy and enemies die like really quick. center. Wait, I should see if there's chest this way. There are not. Alright, carry on. Hi. The darkness this path does lead. He who is from the land of the sun must leave it light. Leave if life to him is dear. Okay. Whatever that means. <laughs> Ooh, 
fools, mistake not foolhardiness for bravery. No, thou art headed down the path of darkness. I'm just gonna keep on going. I'm gonna ignore. I'm ignoring all those slabs. The king of the dark world has ruled Philgaia since time immemorial. I was gonna say, can you give me a battle with only Tim? I want Tim to get more kills. My, my boy needs these spells. Oh, 2200 Gela. That's like so much. I'm so upset that you stole that. I don't know whatever I'm gonna do. Alright, I'm going down this way. I almost lost my directioning because of that battle. Hi. Yo, is this where Vincent comes out? He comes out of a coffin in FF7. Keep the noise down. What do you think you are? Or who do you think you are, rather? Wait, did, did I? Where do you think you are? Don't you mean... Who do you think you are? Shoddy translation, as we all know. Oh, it's you. Ah, Hashley and company. I didn't know you were making that noise. So what brings you here? Surely the time of promise has not yet come. Hey, what is Maribel doing here? This is where I heard the legendary immortals supposedly live. We are the immortals, the Crimson Nobles, supreme species of Philgaia. We are the absolute true one and only rulers of Philgaia. By the way, I would have absolutely missed this without a guide. Like, I would not have gotten this character. Like, no shot. <laughs> Which is exactly why I don't like optional characters in games. Even if, like, it's just, like, a little, like, oh, they don't have much story relevance, I still rather characters, like, always join you. Oh, brother, what a windbag. I never knew the Crimson Nobles really existed. Well, the legendary Lord Blazer is living inside Ashley. Is the idea of Crimson Nobles still living in Fogaya any weirder? A good point there, Connor. But what do you want, Ashley? Surely you did not come to chat. As you say, the time of promise has not yet come, but Philgaia now faces the most serious threat in its history. Yeah, the Cooper Belt. Not even Lord Blazer could stand up to the might of the Cooper Belt. That's why I need you to fight on our side, Maribel, as you once fought with Anastasia. We're fighting to save Philgaia. Will you join us? Hmm. First Odessa, then Cooper Belt. Why must such evil attack our, our beloved Philgaia? As Phil Guy's true rulers, we will tolerate no more of this outrage. I'm putting my foot down now. But I'll have you know. I'm only doing this because it's my duty as a supreme species to protect Phil Gaia. We simply have a common objective. Otherwise, a proud crimson noble would never help you lowly humans. Do not forget that. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Whoops, I almost forgot this. Ah, oh, the Electel. This Electel zaps anyone in front of you when you press a square. And I see you are still using that pathetic map scope of yours, huh? Out of pity for you, we will use a bit of lost technology to give it a cute but exciting upgrade. Don't look so skeptical, just leave everything to us. I'll show you how Gilgalad technology can even hold a candle to ours, haha. <laughs> There, all finished now. How's that for a nice power-up, eh? Haha. <laughs> what do you mean it looks like it looks this like looks the same, amateur? <laughs> now you can view the map scope while in transit by projecting the image onto your retin retina. Right, okay. Rude awakening. Recruit Maribel the Crimson Noble to your power party. Words. Would it have been so hard to like make that mandatory? We met Maribel through the story. <laughs> All right, what do you do here, Maribel? What's, what's like, your gimmick? Life drain, skill drain. Drains HP from enemy to you. Single. Get red power from an enemy. I'm sorry. Red power. Explain. A 
That's an optional dungeon too. I thought you did story and we're on your way to a big boss or something. Oh uh, yeah. No, this was optional. We only did, all we did today was the sleeping volcano. That was the only mandatory thing. And then we got Lombardia. Everything else has been optional. Yeah, would it have been so hard to just make that a mandatory dungeon? I just don't understand the point of optional characters. I guess because devs really want you to explore their world, but it also sucks from the perspective that most people without a guide are going to miss it. I just skipped that encounter. I'm mad. There we go. Another new encounter. Makes up for it. Well, that was a really brief dungeon. I wasn't expecting it to be that short. Get red power from enemy. Is this like a, this like a, um, this like enemy skill? This, are you like a blue mage essentially? That's what that sounds like to me. Only because I played Final Fantasy games. Kina was a pointless character that was essentially optional. Yeah, pretty much. Kina was optional for like the beginning of the game. You can get Kina optionally in the beginning. You have to get Kina regardless. But yeah, Kina's relevance in the story left a bit to be desired. Yeah. Kina's purpose was comic relief, but I did not find Kina funny in the slightest. But the devs said it themselves that they added Kina for com Kina was supposed to be the comic relief. But I did not like Kina. Ah, the werewolf's den. This was the next destination. Okay. I wanted to go to Werewolf's Den next because there's a um there's something we can do here. Bum bum bum. I'm gonna have to like look up how Maribel works. Oh well. Or if chat just wants to tell me they can, because the game isn't gonna tell me. Oh, we have one of these. I hate these. Hello. She's a blue mage and summoner. Okay, so you have to like learn her skills. Interesting. What's this? Powerful multi-type attacker? Try, try this. I want to see how this works. Oh, she seems interesting. If I, like, learn more about how she works. <laughs> I like the cat that's with Tim. Oh, Puka. I don't know what Puka's supposed to be based on. I doubt it's a cat, but I guess it does kind of look like a cat. I don't know what else it's supposed to be, though. Uh, skill drain? And then we could try arrow shot on you. I'm wondering if I need to, like, finish off an enemy with skill drain, if that's how it works. Or maybe only certain enemies you can get moves from. She's a mirror to Ashley, statistics-wise. Interesting. Okay, it missed. So skill drain only works on certain enemies, I guess. I'm feeding Tim all these kills, by the way. And never mind, I can't because I don't have an AoE ready. Frost bomb. Now I wish I used fire. I would not have taken this enemy for a fire or an ice user, rather. 